Welcome back to another element focus video here at Brizzy. In this video, let's have a look at the text element. As you know, elements can be found over here in the sidebar if you click on add elements and it's our very first element. The reason it is situated up here is because it's such an important element. If you hover over here, you will see there's a little tag up there that also tells you it's text. To bring it into Brizzy, you just drag and drop it and it will come in with some standard text. Of course, you're going to change this the way you want it to change. You can almost say there's a problem with this element, and that is that it's way too powerful for what it appears. This text element incorporates global styling, and that is a feature that you will find over here in the styling functions, something that gives you even more flexibility in our pro version. When you bring it in, go to topography, and you will see it comes in at the paragraph setting. Even though this is the standard paragraph, like we are used to in the WordPress editor, this isn't an HTML tag. Very important, we separate the two within the Brizzy editor. These are styling options. Like if you go to InDesign or if you go to Word, you will have those different options to apply different forms of stylings. And if you click here on the drop down, you will see you have subtitle, above title, heading one, etc., and so forth. These styles are set within the global styles. Go to styling in the sidebar and you will find them all down here. They can easily be changed if you want to use a different font and you can even add your own. So if I go down here to the bottom and I say add new, scroll down to see it, I'm going to highlight this text here that says new style number 10 and I'm gonna call it Brizzy new style. Then I can change it to Roboto. I can change the text size over here, line height. Let's put the weight on medium and put the letter spacing. Now you may have overlooked it, but look up here. You can even in advance set the styling for this specific styling for tablet as well as your phone. So if you want this to appear different in tablet, you can do it here by changing the size, maybe the letter spacing a little bit different. And if you go to your phone, you can even change that over here. This is a really great feature, one that is often overlooked within Brizzy. If I go back into my text element to activate the toolbar, just click in it and it will pop up again here. Now, if I click on the T for topography, I click here on topography and I scroll all the way down, my new style will appear over here, Brizzy new style. If I get bored of it or I don't need it anymore, I can go back over here to styling, scroll down and I can delete it. The default styles that come in cannot be deleted, but they can be changed to the style that you want them to be. Let's create another style. This time it will say new style number 11. I'm going to call this new Google font. I want to add a Google font called old standard. Currently in the selection of fonts that you see here, they do not appear here. That's very easy. Any Google font can be added. Go up here to add new Google font, click in the box and type in old standard and there it appears. Select it and add it. Now, if I go down here, I can just click on it and the fonts that I had loaded will appear at the top. I just click on old standard and now I'm set. Go back to our text element, click in it, click on topography and I can just scroll down in my pre-styles new Google font, and it will change. You don't need to select any text to style it, as long as the styling is applied to all of the text that you have in mind. For example, let's say you want to change the size of this text. You can just merely place the cursor there, click on the topography and increase the size, and it will be applied to all the text. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Let's say, you want to build out a big paragraph with this. For example, you want to have a header. Let's give it a header. You want to have a subheading. You want to have an introduction paragraph. And what I'm doing is I'm pressing enter or return on my keyboard for each of these. What has been done is that they have been divided into various paragraphs, which the element will recognize. If I go to header, I can click within that line, go to topography, and I can choose heading one. Now it will go to heading one for only this paragraph. I can do the same 
for the rest of the paragraphs, like subtitle. Let's say this one I want to have italic and in a different color, like maybe blue. And again, because of global styling, this can easily be changed by going to the styling and changing the colors set over here. This blue that I had used, if I click on it and I change the color, it will apply globally. I'll undo that, Control command z Naturally, we can also align what we have done. If I want to align all this text, I simply highlight it, click here on the Align button for center, right, and then back to left. You can also apply bulleting and numbering with this button over here. You can cycle through the various options by clicking on it. We've covered the bold and the italic, and then over here, you have the ability to link your text to any hyperlinks and other anchors. One feature often overlooked within the text element is the gap above and the gap below that you will find under settings. This allows you great flexibility in styling when working with just one text element. For example, I want to add space below my header here. The way I can do that is by clicking here on the settings. Make sure that you have selected the sentence by clicking in it, and then going to settings and use the gap below option. Grab the slider and it will apply a gap below and it will apply the gap only under the sentence you have selected. You can do also the opposite. If you want some space at the top, you can grab the gap above. And this can be done for all the various paragraphs individually. The final feature to take note of in the text element is the HTML tags that will improve your SEO ranking. They will be found under settings and you assign them individually over here. So for example, even though this is a header and I don't intend it to be a HTML tag, I can put it on P4 paragraph over here. On the other hand, if it is a header for your page, you can choose H1. This will not affect the styling. It will only assign the HTML tag. If you want to do styling, then you go back to typography and you do it over here. These two are disconnected, allowing you greater control over designations of your HTML tag. To us, the text element is an element that we are very proud of within Brizzy. It really is a great user experience. We are still building up more features into it and in the future allowing for custom fonts to be uploaded. Check back to our channel every now and again for the latest in elements development within Brizzy.